Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be updating your Mac to the latest OS. So let's get started. On the top left hand side of your screen, you will see an Apple logo. Just click on that Apple logo. Your second option will say system preferences. Now that's where we're going to do this update. Now remember that way back in the day, we used to do all our updates in the App Store. So if you're not finding anything under system preferences, that means you're a little bit back and that way you might have to go into the App Store in order to do any updates but that's a long way back. For most of you, just go into System Preferences. Once System Preferences pops up, you're gonna see this, and then on the left-hand corner, your third option down here below, you will see Software Update. Just click on that gear icon, and you're gonna see this. So this is the latest one. We can just click on More Info to see exactly how big it is, and it's only a gig. So that's pretty small. It will require a restart. It's not gonna ask you for your Apple ID or anything like that, by the way but it will take some time to install. Although it's only a gig, just make some time for this. So for most of you, just make that 20 minute window. So make sure you don't have to do anything in a rush or anything like that. Just put those 20 minutes aside for this to do its thing. And yes, for some of you with faster internet, this can be a little bit shorter than that. But for most of you, you're just looking at around 20 minutes. So at this point in time, we can always click on the bottom right hand side. You're gonna see install now, or we can always close this and just put update now, which is on the top right hand corner of your screen. So just tap on update now, and it's gonna restart. Once it restarts, you're gonna see an Apple logo, a loading bar, and then we just have to wait until it's fully done. So let's just do that. Click on update now, and we're gonna click on restart. So just after about 30 minutes, 20, 30 minutes or so, you should see this. Your computer should just turn on by itself. If you guys usually log in, it's gonna ask you for the login, and that's about it. If you don't have any other updates, it's gonna show you that right here. But other than that, it won't show you any other ones for Mac OS itself. Right now, it's just a printer one, so I can just go ahead and update now. So that will take care of my printer update. It will give me any other information that I would need, like this extension that's not gonna work or might not work. I'm just gonna click OK on that, and that's it. That's it for this video. Make sure, if you're not sure about this update or any updates for that matter, just to make a backup of your computer using your external hard drive and Time Machine, which is something that's installed on your computer already. Time Machine is great just in case something goes bad. You can always kind of go back in time. Anyways, that's it for this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.